taking both ball clubs. Honestly, it's all about who wants it more in these final three minutes. And this crowd is really now kind of flipped back in the Lowville favor. Despite the fact, as I've said, it's pretty even in terms of the fans. Now Glens Falls, I think, sensing that, trying to get their team going. We're seeing a lot more Indians fans get up on their feet here, trying to match the intensity and noise of those Red Raiders fans. Glens Falls is home to the New York State High School Basketball Hall of Fame. It's really the cradle of high school basketball in the state of New York. It was the host of these state finals for many, many years. It's going back next year. It's never won a state title. 2007, 2003 losses in this state title game. Can they finally close it out this year? We're going to see what Joe Girard III can do. Dangerous pass. Not think that was off zero. Okay, so now here's the situation. You're down three. You have the most prolific score in the new, and in the history of New York State high school basketball. Nearly 2,000 points more than Lance Stevenson, who's second all time. And Joe Girard III, what player are you drawing up? Are you going for a three? He's been very good today driving inside. His three-point shot for as good as he is from three has not been his strength in this game. Looking at the personnel on the court, I would want to see a play maybe um, come back to Trenton Gerard off this inbounds pass. You I know, was thinking the same thing. You know, a lot of a lot of the players on the court are going to pay attention to JG3 and where he goes. Maybe we'll see Trenton pass to someone, get it back in the corner. That's one of his sweet spots. Trent's a senior as well. Trent Gerard out there alongside Quirk. And JG3, he gets open for three. JG3! Bottoms, 64 all. It's about the most open look you can Lowville get. has a timeout. We'll see if we get to this next, at, rather after this next free throw before we get to an inbounds or once they get into the front court. Too strong in the second one. JG3 grabs the rebound. We'll see if they burn the timeout. Down two in the state title game. He's driving inside and he is fouled. Two free throws coming for Joe Girard the third in a 74-72 game. Joe Girard III, this is the man on the AU circuit in one of the top leagues in the country, in the Nike EYBL League, won 36 of 37 on free throws. Yeah, it's a very competitive league, and he loves this part of the part Knocks of the down line. the first one. One more to come. Lowville without a timeout. Interesting there that they did not call the timeout for Glens Falls. One more for Joe Girard III. The weight of the town of Glens Falls on his back and he missed it. And a lane violation. It looked like it was gonna roll in too. Yeah, I think that ball was going in. I don't know what Joe's plan was. He must have thought it came out of his hand wrong and he thought he was missing it, but. It's an unfortunate play by JG3. He wanted to be heads up. He, did, he, he didn't like how it came off his hands clearly and that's why he was going to the basket, but he, he crossed that line before the ball even touched the rim. He has not taken his hands off the top of his head. He is beside himself. That's 50, he needed 51 though. He did need 51 right there. And we'll see, there's still five seconds left. I think we've seen crazier things happen today, especially in that triple overtime contest we had a few matches back in a class C semifinals here. No timeouts now. Here's interesting. They're going to take Joe Gerard the third off the floor. Now you're assuming that you get a foul and then you have the opportunity to bring him back in. Let's say you get a steal. Now you're without your best offensive player on the floor. It's a risky move. I think at this point I might leave him out there but we'll see. Rob Gerard the head coach is obviously going to Tell his team to foul and hope he can bring back in his superstar senior. Well, even if they can't, it's time for five other Indians to step up right here. They are only down one. Time to make a play with five seconds left. What have we got here? And it might be an offensive foul. It will be. Offensive foul. Charge to Brett Tiffany, the senior. Uh, and this is... <laughs> The roller coaster of emotions continues. Now Glens Falls still down one, but will have the basketball inbounding underneath their hoop. No timeouts left for either side. Oh, I'm putting the pen down, Tom. Let's see what happens right here. And now the officials are talking. Whatever they're about to say is going to affect the course of not only Joe Gerard III's legacy, but the emotions of 4,000 plus people in this building. 
We're still waiting on official word. 74-73, five seconds left. I'm getting antsy here, Tom. I'm going to be honest with you. Imagine how the players feel. <laughs> I think it's a question if they can bring Joe Girard the third in. Now over 5,200 of you watching on Facebook Watch. We really appreciate your support, and we're glad you tuned into a good one. I think the question is, are they allowed to bring in Joe Girard the third? That seems to be the issue here. And obviously, if they cannot, that is devastating. Yeah, it looks like, no, he's going to have to stay. No time elapsed, no substitutions, and this is what we just talked about, not having him out there, devastating. Now we have to have five, any other five Indians step up right now for this ball club. Can five someone seconds. not named Joe Girard III hit a game winner for Glens Falls? Inbounded. And it'll stay with Glens Falls, and now they can get Joe Girard III back in the game. <laughs> they kind of needed that play right there, to be honest. Let's see what kind of look they get. Three yeah. seconds left to go. Trent Girard, the inbounder. They're trying to run the same picket fence play for the state title. Trent Girard inbound. JG3 getting free, driving baseline. Hits the layup. Joe Girard, the third, the leading scorer oh in New York goodness. State high school basketball history, has brought the championship back to Glens Falls. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful take by Girard. He was so confident catching that ball on the baseline. State championship coming back to Glens Falls. 52 points for JG3, and the three stands for three state titles. <laughs> Gotta Two love in it. football, and now one on the hardwood. Well, congratulations to Joe Gerard III and the Indians. Ice in his veins, though. What a beautiful take right there. He caught it on the baseline. I thought he was going to be looking for a mid-range jumper. He had three seconds, and that was just great IQ, knowing how much time he had on the clock. He took that baseline, acrobatic move in the air. Look at him. He's emotional as could be. you got to love it. This is why this is the best time of year. Basketball, you can't get enough of it. The redemption story after missing the free throw. Down one. An offensive foul against Lowville on the inbounds play and the Glens Falls Indians as you take another look. Driving baseline, splitting two defenders, hitting. Ah, such a beautiful play as we watch it again. And that is why he's Mr. New York, Mr. 4000. So cool, calm and collected. He seemed poised throughout that entire time. He's heading back to Glens Falls. He's going back home for the Federation Tournament with a state championship plaque in his back pocket. Joe Gerard III, 52 in the championship. And on the other side now for Lowville. What a game, what a performance. And they'll think a lot about that inbounds play. And think about as well, Joe Gerard III wasn't allowed to be on the floor up until they knocked that ball out of play. Right. Um a couple of unfortunate events happened right there. For I'll give you a yolk. Oh, now we're on to the middle of an egg. The first seven. To describe a dunk. New York High School. Glenn falls down one in overtime until Joseph Gerard the third hits the layup off the inbound pass at the buzzer for the win. Is that a nougat? A nougat. <laughs> I mean, just, we're going to the like, middle. We're like, going to the middle we... of stuff. Oh,